Okay, so I still cannot go live. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna be unblocked. It could be another three months. So I'm just gonna have to do my videos like this, which is totally fine. And then I can just post them on my YouTube and upload them um, for you guys to watch. So today I want to talk about competing. I want to talk about why, and everybody's different. Everybody's reasoning for competing is different. So I am just going to tell you my story, um, why I chose to do it, what I got out of it, like what the process was like for me, and then why I most likely will never do one again. Um, so I, for years, Josh did a competition a long time ago and I went to it and, you know, I sat, I remember sitting in the audience looking at all the girls in the bikini category and I would think, oh, I can do that. Like, I want to do that. It would be so much fun, but I don't want to do the diet. That's, I mean, if you ask a million people across the board, 90% of them are going to tell you, I'm not doing a show because I don't want to do the diet. Um, so that's basically why I never, I could never commit to a diet. So, and you all know that that's why it never even like came about. Well, so when I started my transformation and I got to a certain point to where I was kind of like, I wanted to build and kind of to a point where I felt like Josh was like, what you're doing now is kind of like prep for a show. Like you should just go ahead and do a show. And I was like, Hmm, okay, I'll do that. So like my transform or my, um, deciding to do the program, I literally just like jumped right in. I was like, I want to do it. Um, my coach, Jeremy Minihan, he said, why do you want to do it? Um, so we had a conversation about that prior to him even like taking me on. Um, he wanted to make sure I was doing it for the right reasons and good coaches will want to make sure that like what you're doing or why you're doing it. Like they want to know that it's for the right reasons. A lot of people do it for the wrong reasons. So I wanted to do it to see how far I could push my body and myself mentally. I knew it would be grueling. I knew it would be the hardest thing I had ever done. So I wanted to do it for myself to push myself. Well, so when I started doing it and I started prep, like officially started, I, the cardio was so much more than I had prepared for. I knew it would be a lot of cardio because I had friends that had done competitions. So they always said, oh my God, the cardio, it's so much. In my head, for some reason, I was just like, oh, I'll do cardio every day. Not twice a day, every day. Like, I was not prepared for that. I, I thought my thing just stopped. Um, so, being a, being a mother <laughs> of two and having a full-time job, I it pushed me to my limits mentally and physically. I, I look back now and I literally do not know how I got through it. I really don't. I mean, yes, I do. My husband, I, if I did not have Josh, he prepped all of my food. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps flashing at me. He prepped all my food. He did the laundry. He took care of the kids. Like I would not have been able to make it through if I did not have him doing it, like doing half of the work for me. Um, it was so hard. Um, one of the main reasons that I never said I would do a show is because I always said those people are so vain and it's just, I, I would never. Okay. So let's start it over. Um, I always said I will never do a show because that's just so vain. That's, that's so vain. And I, I I'm not like that. I, I, I don't care about how I look that much. I could not have been so wrong because people who compete, I have the utmost respect for now because I've gone through it and I know it's so difficult. Like the people that do these shows are so committed and they want to push themselves to be better. And it's, it is so you can get so wrapped up in it. And that is why I'm doing this video because I, I came out of it. And I mean, I didn't even place like I, I feel like every girl goes in expecting to win. You go in, you put everything that you have from your little body into prep. And so you think I deserve to win and we all deserve to win because not, we don't all deserve to win, but you know what I'm getting at? Like you work so freaking hard. All you think about 
like there's days where you literally just want to cry and, and all you think in your head is think of being on stage. Think of winning. Think of getting that trophy. Think of getting that medal. That's what gets you through. So when you get on stage and you don't even fucking place, it is it, it the feeling. I cannot even describe it. Like to be, I'm trying not to be dramatic about it, but you're literally like, what the fuck was all that for? Like it, it's so, so defeating. So, and this is where I'm going to go into like a little bit further and tell, tell you how it warped my mind. Like not only did it screw up my body, not really screw up my body, but like afterwards I wanted to keep that look. I wanted to look like that all the time. I love the way my body looked, but there is no, I mean, I could, I could keep it. I could attain it, but oh my God, like the eating and the cardio, like it's not realistic. It is just not realistic. Um, for my family, for me, it's just not, it's not for a lot of people <laughs> and no one talks about this. Um, so yeah, it warps your mind right after the show. I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. Like it was probably a week, less than a week after. And you know, my coach was checking in on me and he was like, how are you doing? And I was like, I'm pissed and I'm upset and I'm really emotional. And he was like, why? I'm like, I want to win. So let's do something else. Let's do another show so I can win something. And he was like, hold up. Like, that's not the point in this. Like, why do you want to win? What, what do you think that's going to get you? What are you going to feel if you win? And so I had to do a, a lot of like introspective thinking and, and feeling, and it was so uncomfortable. And my coach helped me through a lot of it. I mean, I don't know what I would have done if I did not have him. Um, he was so pivotal in that whole experience. Um, but it was just keeps stopping me. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, I'm probably telling me to just shut up. I've done two, three minute videos. So we're going on probably going to be a nine minute video, but there's a lot to talk about. And, um, it's, it's just, it, it warps, it warped my mind. I wanted to win. I wanted to jump right, right back in. I was like, well, what can I do to win? Can I do figure? Can, you know, I could put on more muscle and I can get my back. You know, I could, I could get my back better. I know that that's what I need to work on. And it was just like, it was so exhausting. The thoughts that were going through my head and, and all of it was, was cause I wanted to win it, and it didn't make sense. And I had to do a lot of, you know, like I said, a lot of thought process and a lot of looking into myself. Like, what do I want out of life? What do you want out of your life? Really want? Because when I got asked that by my coach, I couldn't answer him. He, I mean, I was like almost in tears. He point blank asked me like, what do you want? What makes you happy? And I was like, Hmm. I mean, aside from my family, obviously, but like I was really, I really had to think and I didn't, I didn't know. And it wasn't competing. I, I really, that's where I figured it out. I, I sat down and I thought a long time about it. And I, and I thought, well, prep, I mean, prep really didn't make me happy. I, it was hard. I wasn't happy on prep. So no, maybe I don't want to do another show. So then I started thinking about, well, you know, I love food and it, you know, I'm not going to go into all that, but so you really, I, I mean, the one thing I can say is that it really is a commitment and it was so much more than I thought it was going to be. And I have these little slip of fantasies every now and then of like, maybe I'll do master's figure one year, but I don't know if I want to put my family through that again. It, I, I don't know if I want to cook 97 pounds of chicken a week again. I don't know if I want to do all that cardio. I, I mean, and aside from that, like it, it messed up my body a little bit. I'm struggling to like stay where I'm at. I, I want to build, but I mean, it, it, some of my friends, it has screwed up their hormones so badly. Um, and it's just, you put your body, you push it to the limit when you do that. Um, I don't know if it ever really recovers properly. I'm still, I mean, I still feel like the show was yesterday and I'm still trying to like get back on track and it's hard. It's hard. That's all there is to it. I respect anyone who does it. Anyone who continues to do it after doing one, I don't know. I'll ever do one again. Um, but anyway, that's all I had. If you guys have any questions or if I did not hit on something that you wanted me to, um, just let me know, drop a comment below and I will, I'll be back for another video.